Hey guys, a lot of people have asked me to make a tutorial on animation, so I'll be making one today. Firstly, the animation app that I use is a light motion. It is a bit complicated, but it's the best animation app for me. Firstly, go to your drawing app and draw your artwork. Make sure every body part is on a different layer. Next, export all of the body parts on a transparent layer. If your drawing app doesn't have that function, you can make it a green screen. In a light motion, you can create a project and choose any settings you want. You don't have to purchase a light motion pro for this. After creating the project, import every layer that you have downloaded into a light motion. You can also edit the order of the layers as so. There are four main tweening types in a light motion. Movement, which is shown here. Rotation. Size. And skewing, which I'm not going to teach you in this video. There is also pivot point, which is an important element in tweening. It is basically like a joint where you can adjust the way this element rotates. Here is an example of how pivot point works. I have added some audio over here, but it will be muted for this video. After adjusting the pivot point for every body part, you can animate it. Firstly, when you click into an element that you want to animate, click on the diamond at the left side of your screen, at the end and the start of the part you want to animate. On the second diamond, adjust the position of the part you want to animate to the ending position as I shown here. Click on this button for graphs. I use the bouncing graph for animation. You can also use the cyclic graph if you want. I was trying to sync the bouncing with the beat of the audio here. I was repeating this with the rest of the head parts. This is the result for the head. For the arms, I'll rotate them a little as they bounce. I grouped all of the layers for the body here so they can be bouncing together without me having to tween each layer individually. For the body bouncing animation, I didn't use the motion tween to make it go up and down. I used the size tween to make the height shorter and the width wider. I used the same graph for the head for the body tweening. The result is shown on the screen here. Over here, I tween the ears to both bounce and rotate. For the bouncing motion, I use the bouncing graph, and for the rotation, I use the cyclic graph. Some of you also asked how I do the bending motion, so I'll be doing it for the antenna here. Go to effects, and then to distortion or warp, and then choose bend. For origin, choose the base of the element that you're animating from. For this, I chose left at first, but I changed to top later. On angle before placing your keyframes. On the second keyframe, you can change the angle to bend in whichever way you want. I'll be speeding up this part. I am doing the same thing for the tail. For adding an outline to your animation, it's quite simple. Select all the layers that you want to add an outline to, group them, Go to Effects and add contour lines in Drawing and Edge. Then you can change the settings to whichever one you want and adjust the color. Here is the results. Remember, I'm not really the professional at animating, so this is all I know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. 